Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Look at that in the center of your screen. You can see the clouds have opened enough to show that waning crescent moon, meaning the moon is getting smaller and smaller or appearing smaller uh, until the 11th, so it's two days from now, and that's when it will be our new moon. Now, uh, this time of year, we do see those king tides for new moon and full moon, so uh, not to put anyone on alert, because I know two weeks ago when we had that full moon, that brought some higher than normal tides, also a large swell. Not going to be the case this time, not seeing as large of waves, uh, but we are going to be seeing uh, a couple of systems coming our way, bringing us rain chances. We'll talk about that in a minute. As for now, 45 degrees in Santa Cruz, so uh, warmer than where we were yesterday. Here's what I'm talking about with those swells. So the system that's going to bring us uh, some rainfall the next couple of days is moving in over land. So it's coming in from the north, bringing some very cold air with it. Uh, but the trouble is when we see these systems off the coast or well up towards the north, uh, up in uh, the Aleutian areas. So that's where we see that strong swell coming our way. This one's going to be on the weaker side. When it comes to that swell, we're still going to have some larger waves in the next couple of days and then that higher tide, but not to be um, scared of those coastal conditions like we saw two weeks ago. We're still going to get some rainfall, but again, not a big deal. Not expecting a lot of it. Still going to have an impact day for today, though. And then we also have warmer temperatures because of that cloud cover. About 10 degrees warmer near the coast, 5 degrees warmer in areas like Hollister. So instead of near freezing, you have some mid-30s, still could see some frost. And then we'll start to see that clearing out of here and we do have clouds and shower chances. So shower chances today, mainly late morning into the early afternoon, mainly the farther north you are. So check this out for yourself. You can see that system very weak. Yes, we do have winter alerts up in the Sierra primarily. Locally, we just have that frost advisory for this morning. Look at how those rain chances move through. You can see them very spotty uh, for today. You can barely see that as the front comes through. So not looking too impressive for today, uh, but rain chances and snow chances up in the Sierra look much more impressive for tomorrow. Uh, you can see that increasing spreading in vicinity as well. So looking like more widespread rain with pockets of heavier rain. Uh, at times possible for your Wednesday, then that clears out for your Thursday. For today, temperatures in the 50s. Uh, we will have a mix of sun and clouds, and then also those shower chances mainly in the middle of the day. Better chance tomorrow, a break for the end of the week, and then more shower chances for Saturday.